This video, I was having a go, I think, maybe actually, actually I think most of us had two videos, I was there, go, so I haven't looked about one yet to the internet. Uh, I stated, had a go at Windsor about their, I think it was about video, their pricing policy and well, the new enclosure policy of £35 for, uh, th in the essence, a premier enclosure and £18 for the uh, sort, of, sort of more grandstand enclosure. Not so much a crisis, but actually the grandstand one, the 18 pounds one, you can't actually get to Parade Ring or the uh, Windsor closure, which is ludicrous, really. Now, I sound about what's come in, some off-peak train tickets you may know will come in. Government's done this, uh, not enough really for railways, but it's obviously better than nothing. And I suddenly, and I'm realising, oh, I could have probably got now a sense of the Windsor meeting was 16th of May. It's only 20 quid each way from Newcastle to London and about just over 10 quid, 12 quid, I think, 1280 to uh, Windsor, uh, to, to, to and from uh, London to Windsor, back again, back to Newcastle. Waver to try and drive, to the bleeding garden strimmer guy, well, basically, they have made it by hotel, making a white wacky of this stuff. I'm not going to say his fault, the machine's just quite loud. I still hear it now. But uh, yeah, Windsor, I was. So I thought, ah, uh, well, I thought out of third chance, look at Windsor's website, have they changed the policy? Because they've got a lot of criticism about the two enclosure policy and the cheaper closure not allowing access to Parade Ring or the Windsor enclosure. And they haven't changed the policy. What they've done is change the prices. And I was astonished. I said for every meeting was £35 sort of premier ticket, £18 the grandstand enclosure. However, it's now £25 for the uh, Premier ticket. And I can't, I'm, just, I'm, I'm guessing there's one to criticism. I can't think why they've done this so quickly. Because it's basically, uh, around in, in a week, they've changed their prices. And it must be because of the criticism they've got. I can't see why else they'll do it. Or maybe no one's buying the tickets. I don't know. But all the tickets are £25 for Premier ticket and 18 for sort of grand and enclosure. And I've gone for Premier ticket. 20, I just was not going for 35 It's going for a listed race at Windsor. And it's just not worth £55. I'm happy to pay 18 Well, no, you, know, you may not even like winning post, but 18 is OK, I think, for that. But 25 is fine. I don't mind 25 I think it's a fair price. And so actually off to Windsor, and unexpectedly, for evening meeting 16th of uh, May. I may have to miss the final, which probably do. Uh, I need to get a train, the 8.15, or the 8.45 train of Windsor to Paddington, get me, I think, 9.24 it is and then get from Paddington to uh, King's Quarter, 10 o'clock train back to Newcastle, get in about 1.15 in the morning, nothing much I can do about that, and even meeting at Windsor. Well, first time I actually missed the final race at Windsor, I did that for a six race car I missed the final race, and it was a very valuable handi sprint handicap back a while ago. There's two to, uh, stations at Windsor, and I've had to actually go for one of, I think it's the, not Riverside one, Windsor and Eaton station, rather than Eaton and Riverside station. Because I, I can't, I, it's a bit, even missing final race from the Riverside one, it's, not, it's actually quadrated cheaper basically to get a return ticket, but I should be fine for getting the, after the, well, after the sixth race, getting the wearing time would be, but it'd be about five minutes in hand. I, and the past, I've won several the other stations, Central, I actually got lost slightly, I nearly missed my, I thought I was missing my train, I actually got the train time wrong, it actually was about four minutes later. I'm not sure when I thought it was, and if it had been the time I thought it was, I'd have missed it. And in the end, it's. I've now tried chances of a final race to be half an hour, basically, to get to with it to the Eaton Central Station. It's just dicey if I miss a train, I'm stuffed. Because I can't get to the 10 o'clock train out of King's Cross. So that's what I'll do there, and I'll miss the final race almost certainly. I just don't, I think it's just too risky to stay for it. This morning from Perth, saying remember to print off the, I think it's the, both the bus tickets and the two ways of course tickets were all at the same time. You have to book it between, the, 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 the bus tickets you have to book in advance now, you didn't used to, but maybe because of COVID, I still have an issue in Scotland, I don't know, but anyway. And I thought, what, eh? I was hand printed off, it was on the phone, and I'm thinking, with a QR code, and I, look, and I thought, my God, I misread this. I was supposed to print it off, and I checked my tickets, and it just says, you know, shut my phone or print it off and I'm thinking well, well, why the hell have you sent this in the, in the, on the day of the ways what is it I, used to, I mean I can understand if someone's going to jock it up on some places or sending out emails a day before or something but don't send an email like this out on the day of the ways saying what you need to do send it beforehand 
And then I was asked, and I don't know why I said printing office. I hope we don't. It's not supposed to print office. It's going to be a real issue here. If it is, because that is not what it says on my, on my, on my ticket. It says it showed my phone is fine. I don't, don't want to print off t- partly for uh, mental reasons, partly I don't want to start counting tickets around me with your cast in the back of pockets. It's just get these a bit inconvenient, it's overleased. And I just don't, why on earth would you send me a sort of message on a day of race? I don't know. Just get yourself sorted out a bit better, frankly. Well, not where I intend to do it for pint three bottle shop places. It's got there, sign saying. Not open today, although under the, well, it's a little holiday, you know, the holiday being small business to say. Uh, I'd I, I be open up on Friday. And I say it's a risky take with a smaller pub, smaller uh, place to drink. It might, might it's more business, it might not be open on, the, on that specific day. It's happened before, and then someone can't allow that situation. But to our times, luckily, I made a couple, not a couple of other places in Perth before racing. And this is one of them, and it's not, it's about eight minutes to the horse class. I keep my hand up to look as well. Uh, concert hall for a bus to, the West Coast bus to Perth. I assume we're running about an hour, to at least an hour before the first race. Hope we're going to have to get a taxi, frankly, back to, to go back to a station. I think it should be okay. Hopefully, people there waiting. Uh, that's where I think got it last time I was in Perth, and I got the free West Coast bus probably from there. So I think that's Perthshire Museum here. Uh, that's something here. I'm starting to drink this time. I've done a bit time last time, and I'll think about it on Friday, actually. But I've probably got the rest of the rest of the rest drink. It's interesting uh, exhibition on, Hy- um, on basically the Highland clans. And I know some of the teachers uh, a bit more conservative side, but I think he's, he's well informed. He's well informed, certainly. And he i was saying about, and it's true, I'm um, certainly about things like Culloden was a civil war in Scotland between basically the Lowland Scots and the Highland Scots. And in this, there was an exhibition about Highlands, so not about the approach of art, and I looked to see how anything meant in Edinburgh, because Edinburgh most certainly was not in favour of the Highlanders. So that's, I mean, the only piece of art in any way meant in Edinburgh, not even like in, in the title, but just any of the artists, anything on the descriptions, on the labels, because Edinburgh was so won with a, hand, a, a picture of a hound just taking Edinburgh. So there you go, that's what happened. So it's, I say, Clodden's basically a civil war, uh, and, and, with, and probably Glasgow, I think, as well as Edinburgh, be, both being against the Highlanders. But well, here's some Perth, uh, Pint or, well, that's a nice Pint or whatever it was, and that, probably the next you can see the lights might not help serving the Pint. Uh, it's quite bright here, actually. It's directly over, over, over me, in fact, but in front, not quite my eyes, but it's someone that just see the Pint. Which is nice enough big one, just drink it now. Well, this seems a nice enough IPA. Went for half to admit, we have one pint soup before waiting, went for 5.7%, pint with else is a 3.9% one. <laughs> That's a nice little, I say, waste course. But, uh, so it's the uh, second number <coughs> often this year, so I've the muscle already. I was going to say about now what I was going to say, yes. About tickets, that Perth suddenly signing your orchard allegedly to print the tickets off, and I'm certain I should be okay with what I have. But Muscle Boy doing that as well. I don't think it's a Scottish thing necessarily. But I think it's Muscle Boy who, on the tickets, they print it off, even though it's an e ticket. And they don't need to, I'm sure you don't need to print it off. But the problem is, I'm, I'm still saying even an e ticket print it off. And I've seen Mr. Perth yesterday, early last night, I printed it, frankly. But the problem is, I can't get the race course and think, and they say, I'm sorry, it needs to be printed off, actually, despite what they're saying on the website. And I can't just sort of magically transport myself all the way back to Newcastle, we print it and print it off, and I'm stuffed. So I'd have to, uh, I can kind of go up and now, see what was going on. I'm not more, maybe slightly more polite language than that, but not not only that much more polite. But that's after it off because I cannot take the risk of turning up all the way to Perth and suddenly finding, oh, it must have been that case, and suddenly finding out I can't get in. Uh, I hope it'll be all right, it'll be very annoyed if it's not, but certainly, and I, I really will have a go at Perth because that's, that's, that's dismal. He don't send an email on the day of the way saying he's put it off, he sent it earlier. Yeah, bus was fine. Uh, quite a busy bus actually from Perth, but uh, from the near the concert hall. Yeah, about 15 minutes before the first race, and I nearly was actually saying, going to say, Neil went off to, to I think we're going to the 3rd of May to uh, Fakenham. I've only been to Fakenham once, and it was North National. And for cheaper time, we the 12 train tickets actually, and get to to and from uh, King's Lynn for a total cost of just below £50 as a, as a total cost. And it's then a bus from 
Keynes Linda Fakenham and it would have been, I'd done it if it wasn't just it's just a bit iffy about the trains I mean it's a it's a with cheap tickets a very bizarre one it's Newcastle to Leeds Leeds to a journey Leeds to uh, Sheffield Sheffield to Ely Ely to uh, Keynes Linda that part's fine Ely to Keynes Linda about a 40 minute change in Ely that's fine but there are 11 minute change in Leeds and uh, about the same as Sheffield Leeds is not no it is not the smaller station and it and there's only the Kings of Fake and Bus only only for two hours. So if something goes wrong, I'm stuffed. I just can't you know, miss the first few races basically. I just can't take that risk. And so I, I won't do it, I'll probably do that next year. I was thinking actually of possibly I think I'll do my guineas. I mentioned earlier in the video I mentioned probably two thousand guineas because they killed from the stakes of Portland Egg Gondra at some point on two thousand guineas there. And it might be interesting found the guineas is now the new valuable race fair and I think I might stay overnight. That's next year. I did figure this year, but so we said our course tickets a little more than I think we, sh- we used to be at the new market. Maybe a bit cheaper next year, I don't know. But thinking of this, let me uh, train up from Newcastle. What I could do is stay Saturday night in Newmarket and Sunday as well. I'm not sure we. Uh, that's also if the museum's open on a Sunday. We have to go very good. That's very good. It's just, it's just not, well, because it's a new market, so we're to get to. And then go to King's Lynn from there, because it's obviously it's, it's a, I'm basically I'm in that direction anyway. So I might do that. Oh, actually, now I'm thinking about this. Uh, no, sorry, not on Monday. Yes, we would be open on Monday, I assume. But, uh, that's also in the museum. So I'm getting confused. Stay Saturday and Sunday. So say Sunday night, so go down on Saturday, say so Sunday but Monday and then for Tuesday morning go to Kings Lynn and then go back to Castle in the, the evening. So that's a possibility maybe for next year, but I think it's just a bit I uh, saying the tickets are a little more expensive for the guineas are like this year and the and the accommodation will be too expensive now anyway. And also the Kings Lynn I'd like to do Faith them again for Norfolk National. I like my national races, I've said that before. But it's just a the cheap ticket it's just it's 4 foot I've turned out in Newcastle as well, the whole thing. And if it goes wrong, I think it was a town a light change above Leeds and Sheffield. And Sheffield's not a lot smaller station, Leeds even larger. So, but that's for next year. I thought of something someone I knew they said hello and they looked very confused. I was in their hat, and I think he might be a bloke I know. But I'm not sure, he looked rather confused. I don't think he was deliberately ignoring me if it was him. Like something from Newcastle, because something goes to the north, wasting in the north. So maybe it's him, so maybe it's him. I don't know, I'll see if I find him again. Uh, I was going to say yeah, that the course commentator, Scalf Topham, and I've seen him twice and see the, uh, in person, this is, at the time I quickly got to the preview event, and he looks like a schoolboy. I don't know how old he actually is. He just looks, he's quite small, black, yeah, to be honest. I mean, I'm small myself, but I think he might even be smaller than me, which is, and I'm five, six, five, seven, so I think he may be. But he just, he's one of these guys, and you think, think, I think he should be in short trousers, frankly. Well, yes, I think it's absolutely not the person I thought it was. Uh, I, didn't get, you know, I think the person I looked at now found out it was. But what happened still isn't the person I knew. I was supposed to go this far in Perth. I was in McCatterick and so Sedgefield, but not Perth. He's, he's been far, 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 even for him.
enough to pint at the uh, old ship in nice enough pint but the second pint was all they had was all back in hand I should realise they had not a pint quick enough uh, probably a push of the second uh, pint back it was four times and that was a nice enough pint I took about 23 minutes the first one was about 23 as well I just come to the station and remember what time three years ago I must have been off the first time I've been to Perth I don't even know how to drink or not actually I don't think I had I can't remember exactly, and it was a horrendous way, and it was absolutely pissing down, frankly. And I remember Jasper was on the phone where, where, the, where the train was asking some random, like, desperately asking some stuff, asking where, where the train was. And, well, luckily, it's not it's nearby, but my God, I don't want to live that day, today, that day again, even. Arkham 1954 here again, and back at Perth. I was here two days ago. And uh, here again, uh, two days ago was for two listed races at Perth today, it's for a Perthshire National meeting. Uh, I'm off to a pub, hopefully this time I'll be a uh, craft beer place, which uh, have a day off basically on Friday, I'm going to put them a sign. Hopefully we open a day and there's a tap pub I'm trying to get to in the evening for a couple of drinks after racing, that uh, maybe it depends how long it takes to get out of a bus out of a Perthshire. Uh, as a perfect race course, it took a little while yesterday and it might be worse today. I think look at the train, it might be busier meeting today than Wednesday. So we'll see how long it's, it gets long to get out but then to get in because uh, basically you can get a uh, bus as a shuttle service and they get in uh, and it's uh, not, not everyone's on the same bus and also people going in with cars, taxis, going different times. At the end of the meeting, all going out at the same time pretty much. So it might be a little long, but should easy have nothing for pint before, before, before train and no uh, trains. Uh, well after an hour after final way so I'm an easy middle drain there's no danger of that whatsoever but I should be okay for a pint I say worry here this morning not for, for when I was next the station not for today but for tomorrow I want to I don't quite know what I've done with this in terms of the time so I've got a ticket to Haydock Waste course tomorrow and a train at 6 20 in the morning and I think I just realized a few days back can, hang on <laughs> I'm going to get back to cast 11 o'clock this evening I get home about uh, 11, that's 11, 20, 11, 30, and I have to be on train for 6.20. I, I've got about 5 or 6 hours sleep, and I did, and frankly, I sleep too well this, mor this morning, so about 5 hours sleep two days in a row, which isn't great, frankly. Maybe 6 hours, I'm lucky to, to this morning. And also, I have to finish looking at form for Haydock. I sent to actually look last, yesterday, for both Perth and Haydock, before you had a declaration of, uh, as I go to Haydock, as I finish looking at it, Bob and Train back today. The problem I have though is, I thought it was going to be that. So I looked and uh, on the station, I've asked two trains this morning from Northern, and I'm going to take the, pretty sure it's Northern, uh, I think some trans Pennines exist, or maybe in Scotland. But it was all the trains from Newcastle to Carlisle and Northern, and two were cancelled this morning. Uh, it wasn't the ones I was catching, but I just noticed it, and I think it all the first two trains. Both of us were just off the train, I know there's a possible effect of still effects of COVID. That's pretty poor for Northern to have two trains cancelled, it's pretty dismal. And I still think, hang on, once my train's cancelled? 
And well, at 6.20 in the morning, I think, well, surely, how could, you know, get late a train, there shouldn't be a problem. The problem is that it's a very, very cheap ticket. It's £12 each way from Newcastle to Wigan. That's not even counting. I could have even gone maybe cheaper now with the off-peak discounts the government offering for a couple of months. I say I don't think that's enough, and I don't think that solves the problem for trains in, in this country. But I could have been a bit cheaper even with that. And the 12 quid was a bit too, I think it's a bit too cheap almost to Wigan, frankly, in front of Newcastle. And the problem is, though, it's... Uh, it's just a kind of a 40 minute wait there, and I now wait at uh, change at Oxham Lake, uh, Lake District Station. Amazing, I was out there. I didn't even look where I first was looking at it for the pub at 9 20 in the morning. I thought, one, I'm not sure I wanted it really anyway, not at that time. And there's more than enough time tomorrow for pints anyway. And I thought, not there, but it looks for a cafe maybe, even for coffee, but there's nothing there. I mean, it's. In fact, we almost had to go into well, Kendall, it isn't that far away actually, you know, close Kendall was Oxford Lake District. It's basically different line, but it's not far off. But it's still a 40 minute walk to Kendall, and, but, and it's obviously just couldn't do that. And I think it's an interesting looking possible uh, the park or waste, not quite wasteland, but urban, sort of rural area just to walk along. But I don't know if it's each way, it would be quite interesting. So I don't know if it's a sort of wild, wild area. Never station, just wander all over 20 minutes each way. But of course, the problem comes if it's if 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 trains cancelled. And I thought, my Lord, now, now, now 20 for the next one that will kind of cast to Carlisle. Hopefully, that will be cancelled. If it was 12 for cancelled, that really would be a problem, but that would be out. But I don't know, I'd have a word at that point. Uh, yelling at our staff in the station, even uh, in the station, you receive the way of getting via, via, via Manchester. And I'm not sure where it is because it's of course, not what we would have got. But it really would be a problem. And I mean, because of the 40 minute wait in Carlisle now with Knoxville, in fact, if a second train doesn't exist and seven, an hour 20 later, I'll still get my connection. It'll be both about 10 minutes change in Carlisle, and I said about just over 10 minutes change in uh, Oxham to Preston, which is the one I want to get. But actually, it'll be okay. As long as I think that, so, it still should be, as long as the second train exists, I should be alright tomorrow. If I'm in Haydock, uh, since 2019, I think I looked it up, or maybe 18, I think it was 19. A lot of times, 14 times, circa, something like that. A nice enough track. Uh, I don't know. Obviously, I've one of the courses of the way to, well, way to one of the jumps, which is the Lancashire Chase, I've always, always, always known as the Betfair Chase, the Betfair have always wanted it, but officially it's the Lancashire Chase. And of course, the Haydock Park Sprint Cup. I say that's for tomorrow, so hopefully it'll be all right. And I get back at uh, 10 o'clock at night. I mean, I'm late. I think it's a very, very cheap ticket, but it's a lot of sort of obscure lines. I mean, you're going Newcastle, Carlisle, Carlisle, Oxnum, Oxnum to Preston, back on Northern. Hopefully that twin bleeding is this. Preston, Wigan, and then a bus from Wigan to Haydock. And then back again, it's a bit easier going back, I think it's Wigan to Carlisle or something like that. It's, it's a much easier way back, actually. That's, that's, that's an issue. I can't remember exactly, I think it's Wigan to Carlisle Direct. So I went Carlisle to Newcastle. That's it. I also, uh, a bit of a mess last night as well. One reason I didn't I just go to sleep so early as I was going to, is I got a ticket for good, I don't know if I mentioned it yet, on May, on May 21st, and I brought everything a bar, particular London to Chichester and I knew from past I was fine you know just get, get, leave it about a month before the meeting fine then the cheap tickets will come available 550 each way between London and Chichester that's very cheap in my view saying like link you have to call out ticket every three pounds but each way as long as you do it early enough or either off peak or weekend is what I've got tomorrow three pounds between you have to call out that's fine you know it wouldn't be a problem usually five quid now it's 550 it's fair enough each way van ticket have to be of course on that specific train and I realised, I thought, oh, it's a price come up yet. Oh, why? Well, I'm looking at the last two days, thinking, oh, it should have come up already, shouldn't it? And I've been looking, and there's a white mess. Oh, my Lord. There's, a, there's no trains between uh, Victoria and uh, Gaffney Airport, which is um, through to uh, Tichester, is where I want to go. This is not good. Yeah, no, it's, uh, I think, day yesterday, or day, or maybe I think it's two days ago, left feet was pulled up, and I was running again today. I couldn't quite understand this. It was no waste at all the two days ago, I think it was two days ago, yesterday. And I don't understand why, but hooked the uh, train just didn't jack it in for horse. I don't know why he didn't jack the feet. Ah, oh, thank you.